Hi, my name is Tate McRae, and I'm gonna be breaking down some of my most iconic music video looks. This greedy music video is my most recent music video. I did this with Aaron Moreno. This was such a fun project for me. I feel like this was my first music video I've ever done where I feel like I had full creative input on it. From the looks, the styling, the lighting, how it was shot, it was all shot on film, which was like my favorite thing ever. So me and Bradley, my creative director, we were sitting in a matcha shop and I was like, I feel like it would be the craziest thing ever if I was you know, in this like crazy outfit, big heels on, and I'm like driving a Zamboni. Then we went to Aaron and we were like, okay, can you like write a treatment for this? And uh, literally two weeks later, we were with Sean Bankhead and we were dancing in an ice rink on a Zamboni and it was the best day ever. This was my favorite glam I've ever had. I had Lily Keys and Chad Wood doing my glam. That was a look that I definitely wanted to accomplish, just like hair down to my knees. Like I just wanted like super long, fun hair in pigtails. I also just like love extensions. I think they're so fun to play with. This was the last scene of the day. So I was exhausted. Everyone was exhausted. We were like, we don't even know what this scene is gonna look like. So we hadn't planned it out. I'm wearing like boxers, like one latex glove, um, like this like double bra situation. I remember Aaron just being like, just do whatever you want on this like little workout machine. So that's why I did like the whole like leg and did all the stretching poses and this honestly was my, I think my favorite look from the video, just cause it feels so me. Like even on tour, I've been wearing like boxers on stage and just like one hockey glove. And I feel like the kind of randomness of it kind of sums up my personality and how I like to dress kind of tomboy. So it's, it's cool. I thought I was going to be like racing around this ice rink. I was going a solid three miles per hour, <laughs> like literally just going in circles. I had this one guy who was like one of the heads of the rink or something. He was, sitting right, like in this shot, this like one shot where I'm like lip syncing. He's literally sitting right next to me. And he was like, don't let this be the last time someone drives a Zamboni. I'm like, oh my God, like the pressure is on. I'm not like that good of a driver. But yeah, it was, it was fun. I felt like a badass. I feel like this is definitely a new chapter of music videos and all my visuals, even my single cover arts, everything that's been doing recently, it feels like a, definitely a new era. You Broke Me First, a part of the EP, Too Young To Be Sad. So I filmed this video March 2020, right when the pandemic broke. And this whole situation was a bit of a whirlwind because I remember we weren't even gonna get a music video for this song. We were just gonna put it out there. I had just been on like this little tiny tour of like five shows, just like my OG YouTube fans. And I got sent back home to Canada Basically like our border was closed down. So like I couldn't go anywhere and all of a sudden this song starts like exploding out of nowhere. We filmed this in Calgary. Me and my friend went up to this like rooftop. He starts like driving backwards. I taped my phone to the front of my mom's car, a 16, and stacked it against a tissue box. Taped it. I said, don't watch me because I'm about to film a music video. And I like set it up press like three, two, one, and we filmed this entire music video on my phone. This was like four hour leftover makeup from when I did it in the morning. I don't even think I did anything to my hair. Like I don't even think I curled it. This is like just out of the shower. I can't believe this is a music video. Honestly, I'm so shocked how this turned out because how low budget this video was. Like my hair wasn't done. I had like one streak of eyeliner and like a little concealer. This was like a jacket I threw on in my closet. We have three whole videos of this entire music video, three takes. They're all one shot. We basically did it like one under the parking garage and then one on the roof and then one more on the roof. And then I remember going home this night and editing lyrics on the screen. And I send it to my label and I say, here's the music video. And then they were like, okay, we should put in a little bit of budget to make these lyrics look a little better. I remember at this point in time, becoming a singer was never really something I thought was possible. I thought I was gonna be like a backup dancer. So then when I released this song and all this started happening, it was all happening from my, like, my family home's basement. And it was getting played all over the radio, all around the world, and I like couldn't leave my house. Would I ever think that, you know, this would have played at like award shows and like on big screens and it's like filmed on my phone. Like never. So it's been really crazy. 
She's All I Wanna Be, directed by Michelle Dolly and Tusk, off my debut album, I Used to Think I Could Fly. I didn't really know if I was gonna release this song or not, and me and my mom were talking one day at my apartment, and we're like, just close your eyes, listen to my songs, and like, what do we visualize? My mom has been my dance teacher my whole life, so she's like a big part of the creative process. I talked to her about like all my ideas and everything. We were sitting there, and we were watching Chorus Line, the movie. Then we started listening to this song, and I was like, oh, what are these feelings of like jealousy and comparing yourself to other people? And I was like, that really reminds me of like old dance auditions. The feeling of like standing there in a line with girls and being like, you're cut, you're through, you're not good enough, you don't look the part, the toxicity of it kind of. And um, I was like, that would be so crazy if we could recreate this movie for this music video. This was really fun to like put together because I knew almost all of these dancers and Michelle Dolly has been working with me since I was like eight years old, ever since I was a dancer. My best friend Finley is actually like right next to me in this video. And then Bailey Sock, who's the main lead of this video, she is, one of the best dancers ever. So I was very honored that she was able to be in this music video with me. I love a good winged eyeliner. I feel like that's usually my signature look. I don't usually play around with makeup. I get really nervous, but we added a little line. It's pushing it for me. <laughs> All the styling replicates chorus line in the movie. It's just like old dance unitards, leotards. We used to wear like the leg warmers and all those dance auditions. And they were such iconic looks back in the day. And so I wanted to kind of recreate that. I think the shiny blue leotard was pretty iconic. I think that was really fun. I remember this one take where we're all holding the headshots. It was such a cool moment because we were all on stage and we we're standing with these headshots and everyone was like looking down. And then my choreographer was like, okay, take, go freestyle for like 10 minutes. So in front of everyone, like in this like big auditorium, she was like giving me directions to like rip up the headshot and like run around and like mess with girl's hair and like go kind of crazy. And it was, it was a fun exercise and ended up being like such a big important shot in the music video. Cause all my friends are fake, 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 fake. They just want me for the day, day until they... All My Friends Are Fake by Jasper on my first ever EP called All The Things I Never Said. This was a big moment for me because this was my first like legit music video. So this is like my real one that I got to like kind of have a say in. And I was so excited, but I remember loving the way I like looked on set, like the way my hair was super slick back and I had these two little jewels under my eyes and I just thought it looked so like euphoria inspired and I was obsessed at the time. And then a big part of this that I was really excited for was these like glitter tears that came down my face. So we had like these little trackers on my face and it was for CGI. And I remember sitting there and they would just like pin a whole bunch of stickers to my face and then I ended up doing a whole bunch of performance takes. I loved the way the glitter tears looked. I thought it was so sick. 10.35 from last year, directed by Courtney. This is on Tiesto's album. This video was a lot. I will say we spent, I think, 16 hours filming this music video. There were so many different shots in this hotel. The first shot of this music video, which is my personal favorite, it kind of like looks like I'm like distorting my body. That was the very last take of the whole video. It was around five in the morning. We had to catch a flight in an hour and a half after this. And I'm standing on this water fountain, which is the most slippery thing ever. And this was all freestyle. And I did this for like an hour. We did multiple takes over and over again, and then ended up being like the whole first shot of the video, which made me so happy because it was my favorite shot of the day. And then I was like in this like full Versace set and I remember I was literally just drenched in water. And then I had these huge long braids. There were like three of them, which I wanted so badly. I remember I was literally just like soaked. Everything was getting heavier and heavier as the shots were going on. I would say one of my favorite looks is the Versace set, just cause the hair felt very badass to me and I could like play with it. And then also this blue little custom unitard with the high boots when I was dancing on water. I loved, and I mostly loved that because I was standing on one of those boxes that like you can't see in the water. And then I actually was like standing in the pool. Same again, I was drenched, like soaked. And then I just had to freestyle for like two hours on this pool. 
This is the Feel Like <laughs> music video, 2021, directed by Sam, album I used to think I could fly. This song is really special to me. Not only is it my favorite to sing in concert, but I feel like we really took the time to get into the story of this song. I wanted it to feel like as movie-like as possible. Like people were watching like a short film. So my hair was super dark here. My makeup was so natural. I really loved this outfit. I felt like this outfit was like really iconic and like really cool in a restaurant. Uh, and then he's in his little suspenders. I thought it was really cute. I did this with Mason, who's such an incredible dancer. And we were able, like the partnering was just really hard. The choreo was hard, it was difficult. And I feel like it came across really well on film. Me and Mason had met once before, but this was our first time like really meeting, which is so funny because when you dance, you get so close to someone. I mean, I think I like kiss him in this video and we're like all over each other. And yeah, he's like grabbing my hair in one shot. like. It was so intense. We did the whole thing in like two shots. I remember I wanted it to be like a one shot take or three shots, I think, but it was hard because the final scene of this, what we had to do was we had like this really intricate hand section and we had to like smash plates and make sure they were in the right spot. He had to like grab my hair. We had to do like lifts and we had to make sure we like nailed all of this in like two minutes. And then we would do it like 30 times. I feel like you could feel like the anger with us and you can feel all the emotions that you go through. I think in a relationship, there's a lot of lust and love and passion and you can see the beautiful parts in this and then it can get so toxic so quick. And that's what we wanted to show as dancers. I'm so stupid for you. I'm so stupid for you. Stupid. In 2020, directed by Jasper, off of All Things I Never Said EP, this song, to this day is one of my favorites. It's very special to me, but I feel like the music video still feels like I was very fresh. This video is so funny because I feel like I was real confused about who I was at this point in time. Also, I was so nervous. I remember like this first shot, we were like sitting on a bed and it was the first time I'd ever like really lip synced like straight on to a camera. I just remember being so scared. Like I was like, I don't wanna make eye contact with the camera. These outfits, I remember having like no say over. My least favorite color of all time is orange. And I'm literally wearing orange in half the video. It feels crazy because I'm watching myself grow up on screen and watching my style preferences change, my makeup preferences change. It's just crazy how much it, it can evolve in like four years. Thank you so much, Allure. I hope you guys enjoyed me breaking down my music videos. I love you, see you next time.